we have three groups of patients by cytogenetics and molecular biology, and they are classified according to the uh, European Leukemia Net classification as favorable, intermediate risk, and adverse risk. And the category of adverse risk is huge. All these patients should proceed to an allogenic stem cell transplantation. Patients in the favorable, um, let's say, patients in the intermediate risk group should be considered for autologous transplantation if they do not have uh, the FLT3 ITD mutation. And patients in the favorable, favorable group, in my opinion, should also proceed to, to autologous stem cell transplantation, except maybe uh, if they have the T. 821 translocation. And of course, if they are M3, if they are M3.